Well, imagine a mine that's connected in the same way as what we have for the surface, where we can position and we can locate and we can see, where you can employ wireless sensor networks to do communication, but to do more, to transfer data in the real time to a control center in order to find people that are missing underground if they have the correct sensors on them. After a disaster, when people can't speak for themselves, to find them in a situation, imagine that mind, that is the mind of the future. In Khan mining, the mines are going very deep and uh, deep mines means very harsh environments which pose a lot of problems for the health and safety of the miners. And uh, one of the problems is the missing miner problem. Uh, for example, recently we saw in Lily Mine, uh, there was a collapse and uh, the rescuers were unable to track down the miners. We are in collaboration with Wits Mining Institute and this is a very important and critical issue, uh, not only for the miners but also uh, for the operators of the mines. And in this regard, we are very passionate to solve this problem and uh, we believe that the new and innovative technologies uh, can help in solving this problem. My area of research is actually wireless sensor networks and to be precise, wireless underground sensor networks. So I came here like a couple of months ago for a research project uh, to again solve this problem of finding the missing miners. I tried to use my research which I was doing in wireless underground sensor networks and uh, that gave me, gave me actually quite insight that how we can solve this problem. The traditional systems of communication in mines are wired communication or through the earth communication. But problem with such system is, uh, for example, with the wired communication, if a disaster occurs, uh, then wires uh, snap out and you cannot communicate anymore. And uh, with the wireless communication or the through the earth communication, the problem is that the system most of the times are very bulky and the miners cannot carry them. Most of the such systems are only in the in the rescue chambers, and the, if a disaster occurs, then miner has to go to those rescue chambers, and only then he can communicate. But with this solution, the miner, the, the devices are so small and portable that the miners can carry them all the time, and you can put them in abundance in, in different points in the mine. We actually performed several experiments to see whether we can communicate through the earth or we can communicate in a disaster scenario. And, and the results were quite, quite encouraging actually. So uh, we, we, we see that we can find a person even if he's buried under, under a lot of rockfall or under a debris, we could find him and locate him and uh, the rescuer can, and can reach there and uh, provide the necessary first aids. We tested out our first prototype, but I still believe that there is a lot of margin of improvement and there is a lot of research that needs to be done in this area. And, uh, but I'm quite optimistic that uh, from our initial results, uh, uh, there is a lot of potential uh, in this technology that it can be used in the mine as the main source of communication in, in, in normal scenario and also in a disaster scenario.